Hey guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to talk to you about a serious subject. That's libido enhancement and igniting that bedroom activity. Who doesn't like to perform at their very best and give their partner the ultimate satisfaction that they deserve? That's why Titan Medical Center has awesome libido enhancing therapies for males and females. So let's go over the list of different therapies that can help you perform at your very best. The first one is Superman and Wonder Woman's. This will have you performing like a superhero and having your partner thank you, I can guarantee it. The next one is Scream Cream. Yes ladies, Scream Cream. You can apply this cream to certain areas to give you the ultimate sensitivity to the ultimate satisfaction that you deserve. Our next one is PT-141. This is an FDA approved therapy for libido enhancement. You can do it by injectable or you can have the oral version. If you want to take it up to another level, you can go with our Cupid's Candy. Cupid's Candy has three different medications in it. It has Tadalafil, it has Oxytocin, and it has PT-141. So this medication or therapy will help you with increasing libido, vascular, and with the nervous system, along with you guys being able to bond with the oxytocin. These different therapies will get you guys to the top of the peak or top of the mountain that you really want to go. If you're females, you want to take it up a notch or two, this is definitely the way to go. So if you want more information about our libido enhancers for males or females, please call or text 727-389-3220. Also check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. Welcome. Gasparilla 2020, WFLZ Titan Medical Center. What's up guys, John and Cherise here. Hi. So it's Gasparilla 2020, and this year, just like last year, Titan Medical Center is taking over the 93.3 float. That means it's gonna be all Titan and all tightened out. So we are here at iHeartRadio, and this is where the pre-gathering's at. They're gonna put us on these big buses and buses down there which is really cool. If you've never been to Gasparilla, I'm gonna show you this video and it's gonna blow your mind. The only way to do it. If you have been to Gasparilla, you know what's going on out there. It's a gorgeous day, sun shining, and we're gonna be giving away a lot of beads. This thing is ridiculous. Everybody knows about Gasparilla in Tampa Bay, so it's gonna be very exciting today, don't you think? I'm super excited. I've been waiting all year for this. Yeah, so get ready. We're gonna give you a little walkthrough, a little preview of Heart Radio, and all the people that are gonna be involved in this because it is going to get crazy. This is just a start. So let's take a let's walk go. real quick, guys. Come on, Meech. Come on, Meech. Got the crew. There's the gathering. The crew, Marcello, Maria. we got Ernesto, Michelle. Chris is in the house. Reginald, my girl, Yetta, you guys ready to do this? Yes. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's take a walk through the radio station see what's up, guys. Okay. So we're in here, do our thing. I heard you guys got to sign in, you guys got to sign the liability waivers and all that good stuff, if you even got invited. So it's real hard to be in this. Now, listen, I'm not a big pizza guy and I haven't eaten any of this, but they've got a hundred pizzas for people to eat here. Because they're going to need to carb up, because it's going to be a long, long day. And if they've had any liquor or any drinks, they're going to need to soak it up. And I'm telling you, it's like a 4.5 mile walk, and we've got like at least 10 walkers with us. Um, so it's gonna be awesome. This is the back, like behind the scenes of iHeart, I guess. Which we do radio advertising with iHeart, so it's pretty cool. Barrera, DJ, my man, good friend. This guy knew us before Titan Medical too, so they knew me before I was a DJ. See, this is awesome. This is way back. This is where, you know, the I guy was like, yeah, what's up, man? Hello, hello. Hi, good to see you. Party's here now. We can get started. We brought some big dudes and some good looking ladies. So, this is awesome. So, of course, you know, stuff like that for some people. They got the coffee to get them going, to get them that energy like I got. And I don't even need coffee. ECA Stack Plus, hint, hint. That's what gets you going all day. 
Yeah, you know, it's just a little background yeah. information. We just want to show you kind of the behind the scenes. Because once we get on that flow, all you're going to hear is people screaming for bees and us throwing bees That's and tiny little Yeah, try to keep your shirt on. I'm going to keep my shirt on this year, hopefully. <laughs> Unless it gets too hot out there. You never know. I might need a suntan. I don't want a farmer's tan, you know? So, this is what we do if you don't know. Team Titan. Team Titan in the house. It's always a Titan takeover wherever we go. Where we go, we're taking over. So you better hope we don't come to your block. We're going to take that block. Taking over. Titan. Let's walk back outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody looks great in their Titan outfits. Oh, thanks to me. Thanks to Cherise and all the, the wonderful ladies and guys. I mean, they're looking great. Look at them. Black and red, black and white. We know how to do it. We do it first class in everything we do. Best believe. Check this out, check these big buses out. These are gonna bus us down here. These are huge. Last year we only had two buses. This year we got three buses. There's a lot more people, a lot more action. I'm really excited, guys. So I want you to stay tuned to more. We're gonna have a lot more content throughout the day. And you guys are gonna see more behind the scenes and more Gas Blue 2020 coverage from Titan Medical Center. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, it's going to be on now. I on know, the bus, right? get ready to go. Tight crew, let's roll! Titan Medical Center, 9343 Float. Titan Medical Center is the sponsor, official. So she hears blasting out there. It might be kind of loud out here. But uh, we got the Titan crew and we're rolling. This is USF Pool cheerleaders here. We're all walking. It's going to get crazy out here. This USF Bulls band is here. These guys are the real heroes, man. Our 93.3 foot has Kane on it right now. Nationally syndicated radio. 
the Titan Medical Center took over the flow, the second year doing it. Happy and proud and blessed. <laughs> Oh, back to the flow, guys. We're gonna get on this thing. This parade's gonna start. We're gonna start throwing tons and tons of bees out to people. We're gonna see them screaming, hollering, and everybody just having a good time. So let's get up on this boat, and I'll show you guys all the bees around the floor and fill this whole thing up. Come on, let's go. I love it. We're so well organized, professional. We're at this like preci military precision right here.
Hey guys, welcome back to Cupid's Corner. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're here to talk to you guys about post Valentine's Day. So we know Valentine's Day is over, right? It was this Friday, and uh, you probably had the weekend with your significant other or partner, or maybe you didn't. But did you make Valentine's Day special? That's the big question, right? Of course. So there's a lot of different ways you can make Valentine's Day special with a minimum budget or a maximum budget, right? Now, Valentine's Day should be special for both of you guys, but us guys know that women, they actually take it a little bit more serious than us, right? A little bit, okay. a little bit more sentimental about it. And even though it's a Hallmark holiday, it's been around forever, and we know that on Valentine's Day, you're supposed to do something special with your significant other, your girlfriend, your wife, fiance, whatever they may be, mm -hmm. okay? so. What did you guys do for your Valentine's Day? Did you do something special for your significant other? Or your loved one? Did you not? Did you forget about it? Ooh. It's hard to forget about because <laughs> of social media and all the other things out there that remind you of Valentine's Day, especially Hallmark holidays with the cards and everything else. So, I want to talk to you, me and Cherise, about different things you could do for Valentine's Day. Now, I want to kind of approach it from a guy's perspective because Mostly guys are doing it for girls, right? No, that oh. is not true. Girls okay. do it for guys too. Okay, all right. So I guess it can work both ways, and it really should work both ways because it's always a two-way street, like you've always said. Right. Both partners or both people should be working together and for each other because that's really key. It shouldn't just be about one person. It should be about both of you guys. And that's what the significance of Valentine's Day really is, I think, to me. It's two people coming together, making sure they connect on a romantic level. This could be physically or mentally. Yeah. Right? Because most guys are physically, you know, uh, that's how they ignite themselves. Uh, and stimulation-wise, girls are more mental stimulation, you know. They do like visuals, though. So this is where all these things come into play. So let's talk about some of the different things that you guys can do to make your Valentine's Day special next year, or you can incorporate your monthly Valentine's Day. But this is from a guy's perspective, right? Right, this is from a guy's okay, perspective. Okay, I'll give the girl's perspective. So from the guy's perspective, listen, it's all about making them feel special. I don't want to get too complicated in it, so let's do very simple steps. One, get them flowers. They don't have to be roses, but they could be really pretty flowers. And there's a number of different ways you can find flowers um, at the most expensive rate or at a cheaper rate or less expensive rate because I don't like to use cheap. So at that point, really use your resources. What's around you? Farmers markets, grocery stores. Aren't they on the side of the road too? Maybe people on the side of the road like here in Florida. <laughs> now I've used all of these scenarios, all these different resources. <laughs> I promise you, me and Teresa have been together for over 12 years now and at that point, I, I've had to come up with 12 different Valentine's days, 12 different anniversaries, you know, birthdays and stuff like this. So you really, really got to know your resources. And once you've done these things, you'll have them in your artillery to be able to use again and again and again. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over. No, don't become redundant. Don't do the exact same thing. Make them guess a little bit. Don't let them know exactly what you're going to do because, you know, they don't want it to be predictable either. That, that doesn't make it special. You want to make it special. So do little different things. So the flowers are one aspect, right? So some people, or females, might not like flowers, or males might not like flowers. You know, the couple, doesn't matter. So at that point, you can do chocolates. Now, some people might not like chocolates, like Sharice. <laughs> She's not allergic to chocolates. She just doesn't like them. It so is repulsive. More for me, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, chocolate, you know, and that's a big one for girls. You know, chocolates and flowers. So that's very simple. Or you can do one or the other, and I would recommend doing a card and in that card, writing something special that you and only that person uh, really communicate on. So something that's special between you guys it might be an inside joke, or might be a, a cute name that you call each other, something that makes it special in there. It doesn't make it special when you just sign your name. Yeah. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> or you just let the whole card Love talk. John. The whole card talk, you know, there are some really good cards out there yeah. where they just say everything that you wanted to say, which is kind of nice because you're like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I want to tell you and this is exactly how I feel. Yeah. But even if it is like that, still put your little, you know, touch in there and make sure that you make it personable so that way they understand that you did take the time to actually put something in the card versus just, you know, lick, seal, slap it and put it on their desk or whatever. That's what makes it really <laughs> special to them, okay? And you can also buy them a gift, all right? So buying a gift that might go a little bit more extreme, all right, as far as your budget. 
So you can do that. You can take them out to a nice dinner. You can incorporate all of these things and make it very special, mm -hmm. okay? Or you can make it simple and special. By the means of simple and special, let's say you're not working with a big budget. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. So what do you do? There's one thing you can do that's gonna make it very special. And that is, is cook them dinner at home. You can go out, you can get these things from the grocery store. It's very inexpensive to do. Buy some candles, make it romantic, dim the lights, find somebody to be able to watch the children if you guys got kids mm -hmm. um, or you have other duties. Take the night off from your work or try to make time during, you know, the non-work hours. It's not that, I mean, we're not talking like a six hour time frame here, guys. We're talking about like an hour, you know? You're, you're taking Two off an, hours. an hour for dinner or whatever yeah. it may be. So you're making that time and you're devoting that time to the significant other and making it feel special. Now, even with me and Sharice's case, so Valentine's Day was Friday. So we couldn't do our Valentine's Day on Friday, so we did it on Thursday. The reason is, is because our People son- smart. Our son has two football games back to back on Valentine's, on Valentine's Day. Day night. Yeah. This is a Friday night. Who does okay? that? I mean, seriously, who you know, does that? These coaches or the, the league must not have been thinking that Valentine's Day, I guarantee it wasn't a woman running this, this, this league, okay? <laughs> because she wouldn't have been going for that. But so you have to work around these exactly. different things. So if you have to work around them, do that to make it special. They won't care if it's one day in advance. Mm -hmm. They just don't want it one day afterwards. Always to be there before then afterwards, yeah, okay? Yeah, because then you forgot. Yes, so the dinner special. The next thing is, is the bedroom, okay? Yeah. Or wherever you guys might get physical. Kitchen, make laundry it, room, well, I, washer, make it, dryer. Make it romantic, per se. You know, <laughs> draw a bath up, put some candles out. Use those flower <laughs> petals, you know, spread them on the bed. That's a good one. You know, do yeah. something like that. Make, make it something special. Something they might see and they might, oh my God, you know, I've never had this done for me. And that's a first time experience, which will stick with that person forever. So don't make it a bad one. You know, first impressions are usually the lasting impressions. So at that point, if you can make it really good, they're always going to think of you. And that's how, like, man, I'm Valentine's Day. Wow, you know. So these are the things that I would do as a male. And these are some of the tips and tricks. Now, this is, I think this is more dominant in Valentine's Day, but I want to hear this perspective from a female version, so let's hear what Sharice has got. <laughs> guys, it's pretty simple for the guys. Um, I know that, you know, they're a little bit harder, and we all, always go to, like, the socks and the underwear, or get them something, you know, one of the cute little underwears that they sell at, you know, the store with a little Valentine's Day on it and the little hearts, because that's always cute. But obviously, like John said, you know, a dinner, anything like that, one thing I have done for John, I've done it on a couple different occasions, and this is really cool because, you know, we didn't always have this wonderful abundance of money and comfortable, um, you know, feelings here. But I mean, as far as getting something where it's in your budget, so what I did was I put together a collage of pictures with me and him, right? And what I did is I took that. And then I went to CVS, or it was Walgreens, one of the places. I know they both do it. And they have this little photo booth thing, right? You just go there. It's like 15 minutes it takes you to do, right? You go in there, plug in your phone. You're able to print it out. Then you just get a frame for it. And then when you frame it, you put on there, you know, whether, whether it's Happy Valentine's Day 2020, you know, or maybe it's Happy Father's Day or something like that. And, I mean, we're talking like a $10 gift. But you put your like time and thought process Absolutely. into it to really think about it like you've picked out these really really nice photos to put together as a collage and you know something like that can be super sentimental and you know it's something that you put thought process behind i'm huge into putting thought processes into you know gifts and that kind of thing it could be five dollars or it could be five hundred dollars it could be a five hundred dollar gift and you put zero thought process into it and it's irrelevant mm -hmm. because I feel like you just did it just to do it. Now, John's never done that, hence the reason we're still married for 12 years. But I'm telling you, the you know, majority of you guys out there, I know sometimes people just wanna get the job done and be done with it. But if you just put even a little bit of thought process behind it, it's it could be really, really nice. Now, guys, yes, I will agree with John. It is a you know dominant thing that women, it's their holiday, let's say, and they're usually expecting dinner, flowers, sometimes lingerie. Now that's for the guys, okay? Don't think for one second when they bring home their little Victoria's Secret bag that they're bringing it home for you because you were just 
such a great wife but girlfriend. But honey, I thought you looked so cute in this. That's why I want to get it for you. AKA, okay, go put it on and we'll have dinner while you're sitting in it. <laughs> But it is, guys, the best thing you could do, honestly, is, I mean, let's be real, you know, sexual things, they go a long way. So putting on a nice outfit or being sexy that night for your husband, fiance, boyfriend, your one night stand, whatever it might be, um, you know, it does go a long way. And, you know, you can have fun, too, while you're at it. But, yeah, I would say those are the very simple things that you can do. And those things, sometimes you have outfits that are in your closet or your drawer that you haven't touched in years because you've been busy or maybe you just haven't been busy. <laughs> so it's just hanging out in your drawer. But anyways, grab it, put it on, surprise them with it. You know, just try to make sure it comes from deep down within and not have it be so shallow just because it's a holiday. You know. Another thing, I, you know, that I would recommend, that, you know, for some people out there, because uh, you know we have tight medical center, is the libido enhancement or bedroom, you know, igniting therapies that we have for mm -hmm. males and females. Mm -hmm. So both you guys can perform your very best. You guys can give the ultimate satisfaction and pleasure to your partner because then that night, you know, you probably want to do your best or make them think that you're a superhero in the bedroom or, or you know, Wonder Woman per se, or, uh, you know, I and mean, there's a lot of different things you guys can do, but it's all about bonding. You know, we know that mental, mentally, you want to have that love there, right? But physically, you want to have it too. And, and some people have different, you know, um, restrictions or ways, you know, that they can show uh, physical love. But hey, listen, why not be your best? And you might not need it per se, but if something can make you better, hey, listen, for one night or two nights or whatever it may be, that might be a game changer for the relationship and ignite uh, other things or stimulate the relationship in ways that you never thought you could possibly do. So I know, agree. these are different things and Tight Medical Center can help you out with that. So if you guys want any help with libido enhancers going forth uh, for males or females or bedroom igniters or enhancements, give us a call or text at 727-389-3220. So we really want to go over Valentine's Day stuff with you guys. So you guys had some tips and tricks in your artillery. And you guys can use these tips and tricks any day of the year. Exactly. Okay? It doesn't have to be on Valentine's Day. We're just giving you some highlights because Valentine's Day just passed and we thought we'd bring it up. But use these going forward in the future and I promise it will help your relationship in a lot of different ways. Okay? So I appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner. Do you got anything else to add, Cherise? Nothing. I just, he's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I got the most beautiful angel next to me, thank God. <laughs> so we want to appreciate and thank you guys for tuning in again to Type Medical Health and Lifestyle Show, Cupid's Corner, our segment, every Sunday, 11 a.m. We'll see you guys next Sunday. See you there. Catch you there.